Hi everyone, it's Brittany again, and before I jump in, um, first I want to say really quick, um, for some reason right now I cannot reply on YouTube, so if you guys haven't heard back from me, um, I've tried to PM people that have had questions and stuff, but um, I just haven't been able to reply, so I haven't sent everyone a message, but those of you that had questions, I did um, send a message to. So if you do have questions, um, you can leave them down below and I will try and PM you as soon as I can or I will, um, or you can just PM me and I will PM you back. Um, but I do apologize for that. I'm not, I hope that, you know, I did reply to everybody, but just in case I missed somebody, I don't want you guys to think that I wasn't, you know, paying attention. Um, so yeah. So anyways, I just want to apologize for that and... Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Thank you guys for subscribing and leaving all the comments you do. Um, I know I don't always reply, and right now I can't reply, but I just do appreciate you guys watching and leaving comments and just all your thoughts and everything. I just appreciate it. Um, so now I just want to share a mini album with you guys really quick. And I've been wanting to make another Christmas album, so I did. And I love this. I actually used... Um, the Recollections um, envelopes for the um, corrugated c cards. So I use that for my pages, like my base. Uh, so yeah, so I use this paper pad here, and this is called Santa Claus by My Mind's Eye. And I really like this. Um, I did use every bit of what was in here. So yeah, but I used that. And then I did use, a, I used this here, and I think I used the Snowflakes out of this Hero Arts stamp set, and I don't know if there, oh, there is a name, Joyful Christmas Season 6, so that is the name right there, and then, um, this one also I just got in my grab bag, and I used this one on the front, so I used those, and I did use a little bit of embossing powder with those, but I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys, I really like this. Um, this is the cover, and it's pretty traditional. My embossing powder is green, but it's also, like, a gold when you, you turn it. But for some reason, it always embosses more gold than it does green. So, it looks cute, though. And then this frame I was gifted to from Enchanted Stuff. So, I just gessoed it up, and I sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist to make it the green and I didn't have any really, like, forest green, but I think it looks good. And then I just used one of this, these little rosettes I got from Lavish Laces. And I made this stick pin here. And I just colored the tip, this top one here, with a Copic um, to make it green so that it matched. So there's that. And then it's about five and a half or five and three quarters by, let's see. Let me measure. It's five and three quarters by six and a quarter, um, six and a quarter tall. And then my spine is about three inches. And for this spine, I used some color box paper. And I actually have had it forever, but I really like the colors of the paper. So it went really well with this. So um, anyways, on this page, this is just some recollections bling. And it was all one piece, but I cut it up throughout. And then I did use my Wink of Stella. You can see it down here, but now that I got it, I'm kind of obsessed with it, so I tried to use it a little bit on everything. Um, I just did like the plaid punch here, and then I just cut out some different squares and things for journaling, and then I made some of these that were, they're like three inch cards, and that way they can journal, they can put cards, um, they can, you know, do pretty much whatever they want, and then everyone does have a pull out and one side has pattern paper and then the other side I have left blank for journaling or they can put a larger picture there and then on this page this is just a recollections piece and I did again um, a little this was an envelope for a 3x3 three three card so I just cut off the tip and then left this part blank I added a piece of paper here for just looks but it ended up I didn't really need it because I put this here 
So this goes in and slips out, but it tucks in right behind there just to keep it closed. And then over here, I left this page blank because it was so pretty and it'd be a great spot for a picture. And again, this has a pullout, and the pullouts are just staggered. And then over here is where I embossed this tree, and you can kind of see it there, like it's green, but it's gold too, so it's kind of cute. And then I just have a couple more, um, this is like the card, and then a couple of journaling spots, or picture mats. And then this side I also left blank. I did a little bit of Winka Stella down there. And another pull out. And I really like this one. It's been a while since I actually embellished a lot. So it was kind of hard to jump into a whole lot of embellishments. So this one works really good. I like that there's more embellishments, but there's not too much. Um, so here again we have another card. And it just slides in right underneath the belly band. And I just put this here so it didn't look too plain. Um, I really like those. That one I think was from Recollections as well. And then over here I have the music paper. And I just added a little bit of this bling flourish. And then on this page I embossed these snowflakes. With that same green gold embossing powder. And a couple more um, photo mats or journaling tags. And another pull out. And then here is just a plainer page. Um, I didn't want to overdo this page just because you could put a great photo here or you could journal. And then over here, I won this um, a long time ago um, from Scrapping for My Boys. And I just thought it was really pretty and I found this brad. And I just thought it looked really cool because it's red. So I stuck that in the center and I really like that. And then again, I just took a, one of the envelopes. And I just covered it with pattern paper. And then I put a little pull out um, so you could do a photo mat there. And I did forget to say I did go around all of the edges with walnut stain. Oops. And there's another pull out here. And then this is the last page. And I left this pretty blank so you could finish it off with your photos. So that is that. And then again I have just the red um, back cover and here is the outside of the back cover so that is my mini album um, I hope you guys like it and thank you all so much for watching thank you for subscribing and commenting um, I hope you guys have a great night and hopefully I can get another mini album done and be back on soon thanks for watching